Okay, welcome back to episode 15. I think I fixed the problem. I don't know what the hell it was. Let's just start the computer and shut down all sort of unnecessary programs running. Um, but I always done that, so I don't know why I was doing that. But, um, yeah. So let's continue this Vin Plays Halo Combat Evolved. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Okay, I have this. Lucky I had that. Otherwise, I'll be like, fuck. Hmm. Okay, let's see if my marine awesome guy has survived the journey. So that'll be cool. Cortana to Echo 419. The chief and I are topside, requesting pickup. You killed him, you invisible Roger. prick. On my way. How many are there? <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> Wouldn't that thing that just flew past just shoot them down there? So th they killed him. Just as when I... Damn it. Damn it. Holy crap, there's a cave here. I never knew this. Because it's different to multiplayer. Well, where am I? Comes out just here. This heaps cool. I never knew that. Well, normally the multiplayer map, Death Island, or whatever it's called, this map, this little hole ain't here. It's almost be like a little improvement sort of thing. This heaps cool. Well, let's. Start the next chapter of Halo. Finn plays Halo Combat Evolved. Let's get moving. Go hammer. Here are coordinates and a flight plan I've worked up. <coughs> Sorry about that. Got something about uh, Cortana, Don't. these coordinates are underground. The Covenant did a thorough seismic scan, and my analysis shows that Halo is honeycombed with deep tunnels, which circle the whole ring. I hope your analysis is on the money, Cortana. This pelican won't turn on a dime. Look on the bright side, though, Hammer. The last thing the Covenant will expect is an aerial insertion from underground. True. How that even open? God. Makes no sense. Just opens. Apparently so. It's probably where the laser beam fires up from. Like one of the laser beams. Yes, I would have been your daddy. You better be scared. There's no one flying it. No wonder. There's a glitch here that you can stay on the pelican by mashing the enter button. If you keep mashing it, you'll stay on it. But I jumped off it. Because I'm playing the game. He's smart. Oh shit. No! No! Oh. Okay, next time I don't talk, I'll just play the game. Kill these guys first, because they throw the grenades. This seems like really good aim. Just never stop shooting. More here. Come here. Dodge is my bullet. It's so cool. Never thought they could dodge bullets. He's like, what cha? Well, he was like, what cha? He's not dead, so I'll kill him. Maybe he's dead. No, he's not dead. No, he is. 
the only one way to play these levels is to run right through them. Hopefully they don't care to. Because I have low health. Oh god. Well, it's the next point, so I have to go through here anyways. Interesting. Okay. The weather patterns here seem natural, not yeah. artificial. I wonder if the ring's environment systems are malfunctioning. Yeah. Or if the designers yeah. wanted the installation to have inclement weather. Is that actual... God, a flying... What? Okay. As I remember, there's a glitch here that you can jump on fire team Zulu. Here seem natural, not artificial. I wonder if the ring's environment systems are malfunctioning. Or if the designers wanted the installation to have inclement weather. I see. This is Fire Team Zulu requesting Holy immediate shit. assistance from any UNSC forces. Does anyone copy? Okay, don't jump into the gun. That's what I've got to do. Hopefully I'll be able to make this. I should take these ones out the weather stealthily. Natural, not that artificial. fucking I wonder if the ring's comes. environment systems are malfunctioning. Or if the designers wanted the installation to have inclement weather. This is Fire Team Zulu requesting now head for immediate color. assistance from any UNSC forces. Does anything I can copy? do. Over. I didn't think there were any human forces left on this part of the ring. Cortana to Fire Team Zulu, I read you. Fire Team Zulu, this is Cortana. Hold position, we're on our way. Roger that. Make it quick. We'll take down that banshee and then we'll be in control. There we go. Okay, let's go. Kaboom. Yeah, it is one of those. Damn it. Let's stay color. Oh, my blood. I paint the ground. I'm a paint man. It's in the wild saying otherwise. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, I knew you were down there. I guess I'll jump with this and just use this. Come on, you can hit him. Take him out. Oh, this is bullshit. I know what to do. Oh, yeah. Genius. Move it to where I would need it. Now you die. And I can hit him too. It's going to take some thought, because I know those red guys are pretty good, and they can take out anything, unless he's stupid and stands next to it, like that. Yeah, okay, that's good, because that would have been extremely hard. There's no... Oh, there's a grenade there. I was like, did I just pick that up? <laughs> well, the bullet holes. Is Fire Team Zulu down there? Yep. They're running around like nuts. Okay. Someone came through that door. It's not gonna probably be pretty. How did he get here? Are these all not know that I'm here. What's this? It's random. Those things are so annoying. Okay. Well, at least he's gone. Can hear someone underneath me, so I should go finish him out. Okay, I've got to hold it up here for the next episode, guys, so stick tuned for episode 16, I think. I don't know, I always stuff up the episode names. 
And yeah. Damn. Okay. Hit subscribe if you want to. Bless you if you like sneeze in this episode. See you guys later. Thanks for watching guys.